There's two questions I get all the time. The first one is, why don't you have a front plate? It's required in New Jersey. Or when I'm showing the car, what is that? Every time I try and pull off my front plate, somebody's standing behind me going, how'd you do that? What is this? I installed this before I started my YouTube channel, so I can't really show you how easy it was to install, but I want to do a review after 18 months of ownership to give my opinion on this awesome product. I was lucky enough to get my scat pack out of state where front plates were not part of the dealership destruction process. Sadly, they still installed the dealer paints world package before I picked it up. To be legal in the state of New Jersey, you must have a front plate. At first, I started with the stock plate holder and some toggle bolts. That idea worked great, but when showing the car, it looked pretty hokey and it wasn't easily removable. So after some research, I stumbled on the Stow and Show, spelled S-T-O, dash n dash sho and i believe it originated at big mike's performance parts.com and on june 2nd 2015 that's last year i purchased it from amazon i'll put a link to all this stuff in the description below the install is simple you can choose the location by using any of the factory lip bolts i chose the far right hoping it was the highest point to avoid scraping this is also a good spot for those with adaptive cruise control as it doesn't block the sensor or the air vent for the brakes. Just remove the bolt in the location you choose, insert that bolt into the rear single hole in the snow and show, and tighten down. Then slide the plate holder, line it up with the chin spoiler, drill the two remaining holes using a recommended drill bit, and use the included bolts to finish the job. With the stock height on the scat pack under normal circumstances, this plate does not scrape at all. However, due to my driveway angle, I scrape every day, so a solid metal plate frame is really recommended. I also feel a nice black plate frame makes the whole, whole look a lot better. I picked up the Grand General plate frame, which is held up really well, scraping two times a day on my daily driver for the last 18 months. I'll drop a link to that in the description below as well. If you notice here, um, on this picture, I did bend the stow and show a bit to raise it up, uh, and I clamped it down with a bench vise, and it took an insane amount of force to bend those two little rods, just about a half an inch. So as you can see, this is one solid license plate mount. Other than my driveway, I don't really have any scraping issues, but I do abuse it at least twice a day. The mount, the plate cover, have all held up to abuse for about 18 months. The Stow and Show still operates smoothly. Uh, this video here is from October. Uh, that's well over a year of abuse. The Stow and Show goes for about $80 to $90, and in my opinion, is worth every penny. Uh, they've got them for Hellcats, Chargers, Challengers, and it looks like they came out with a new no-drill design for the 2015 and 2016 Challengers. I recommend you head over to BigMike'sPerformanceParts.com to go and check out all the stuff that they have available. I'm not affiliated with them. I may reach out to them and see in the future if they can offer some discounts to Work, Play, Drive subscribers. If that should happen, you'll find that in the discount section on my website, workplaydrive.com. So this product right here, after a year and a half of abuse, gets the Work, Play, Drive seal of approval. If you found this video helpful, please gently press that like button. And if you're stopping by for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.